Hey guys, it's Andrew Esquivel here back with another review and today I'm going to be reviewing the IPX8 waterproof case bag from Inatech. Now this thing is going to keep your cell phone safe from the elements of nature, be it water, mud, etc. And it's supposed to allow you to actually have some sort of um, protection under for a certain depth of water for a certain amount of time. And we're going to test this to see how waterproof it really is, but for now we're going to go over a few things. First off, let's talk about the mechanism that locks this device up to protect your phone. It's a little different than any of the other locking mechanisms I've seen before for uh, waterproofing case bags, but it's not too hard to figure out. Just unlock there, unlock there, pull apart, voila. Now, this is not designed or at least not this model. It's not designed to accommodate larger phones like a phablet, like the Note series, but it is supposed to accommodate phones like the Galaxy S4. But what we're going to do is use a non-traditional Galaxy S4. You'll notice mine is much thicker than a normal Galaxy S4, and that's because I'm rocking the Zero Lemon battery, which is about three times the size of a normal Galaxy S4 battery. So, that being said, my phone does not play well with anything that is standard, per se, when it comes to sizing. So, if it fits in here, we'll know that this thing has plenty of room for a variety of different phones. And just push it on in. It's a little tight, but nevertheless, it gets in there quite nicely. And then in order to lock it back up, just fit it with the holes that it was originally in, push it, and clamp it to the side, clamp it to the side, there we go. And even though it's in this case, you still retain functionality with your phone, which is perfect. And you can even listen to your music through this thing as well. It doesn't really hinder the sound very much. Okay, so one fun way we're going to test the waterproofing capabilities of this case is I'm going to record inside my fish tank. So this ought to be fun. Let's see. How about... Okay, everything seems to be okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the cell phone that's in the Anatech bag and we're going to cast it out into the lake. The phone is recording inside of the bag so we'll be able to see everything that goes on when it's underwater. So we're going to try and cast it out nice and far and see what we get. If you want to do the honors. And hopefully we get some distance. All right, that wasn't bad. We're gonna let it sit for a minute or two because we need to make sure it remains waterproof to a certain depth. Out there, it's probably a few feet down. So if we pull it up and no water's gotten through, we know it can handle at least a few feet of pressure. 
and in just a moment we're going to be reeling it in and we're going to be taking a visual inspection of the phone. So let's go ahead and start reeling it in. And in some cases if you put air in the bag along with the phone, the bag will actually float. So that way you won't lose your phone, but we removed all the air from the bag to make sure that it tries to sink. So, let's take a good visual inspection of the phone. Phone is still recording. And let's see what we got. Put the camera light on the phone. Let's see. Undo the couplings. Pull the phone out. And I would say the phone is completely dry. Okay, so out here we've essentially tested the ruggedness and reliability of this bag. And we've actually tested this out a few times and gotten a few different shots, although in the video you only see the best of the recordings we got from the phone when it was underwater. Overall, I gotta say, the bag did a very good job. I've worked with a number of these bags before, and this one's by far got the best locking mechanism. Most of these things tend to have a Velcro system, which really isn't that great, but this uses a good plastic locking mechanism that has a gasket to ensure that it's sealed properly and doesn't allow water into the bag that could consequently get to the phone. So what we've done is we've used a fishing pole and casted it out into a lake here, but even with doing something as weird and strange as that, it held up quite fine. So I got to say this product is actually quite good. I would recommend it. I would actually trust my phone in it, which I did. I used my own Galaxy S4 inside of this bag, not really knowing if it was going to make it or not. But Inatech did a good job of making this product, and I think it's going to work for just about any medium-sized phone or smaller. If you have a bigger size phone like a Galaxy Note series, they I do believe they make larger versions of this bag to accommodate. Uh, but either way, their design is pretty good. The only thing I don't like about it is the sides are not equally as strong as the top. So if there is ever a situation where the sides get cut on something, that would be the weak point in this product. That being said, it's held up pretty well for some overly rugged tests that we've put it through. And I'm, I, would, I would say I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the product. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, show your friends, check out my other videos. I got plenty of them. And as always, I'll see you next time.